Thank you for joining us for the coverage of Oakdale's Summerfest Ted Berth Grand Parade on Thursday, June 27, 2024. Summerfest is an annual celebration held at Richard Walton Park and includes concerts at the band show, food trucks, a medallion hunt, 5K, kids activities, fireworks, and more. The city of Oakdale is excited to celebrate its 50th anniversary at Oakdale Summerfest this year, as Oakdale was officially designated as a city in 1974. This year's Ted Berth Grand Parade has 62 parade units participating and will feature music by live bands, fun with clowns, decorated floats, candy, and spectacular performances. The parade begins at 6 p.m. at Transfiguration Church in Oakdale and runs along 15th Street, turning north on Hadley Avenue and concluding at the Summerfest event site, Richard Walton Park. The Color Guard thanks supporters of veterans organizations. Please visit them at North St. Paul American Legion Post 39. Next up is the Oakdale Fire Department. It is a career department with all paid volunteer firefighters providing uh, fire, uh, rescue, and emergency medical services to the community. This year, Oakdale Fire is joined by its retired volunteer members. Hey, Ms. Here. Hello, Mrs. Jungman. Oakdale Mayor Kevin Zobel is next, along with our four city council members, Jake Ingebrigtsen, Susan Willenbring, Andy Morcom, and Noah Herr. City council meetings are held at Oakdale City Hall at 7 p.m. on the second and fourth Tuesdays of each month. Known as the Pioneer Agency, the Washington County Sheriff's Office is celebrating 175 years of law enforcement this year. Sheriff Starry, along with his team of 285 employees and 75 volunteers, offer law enforcement services to 31 cities and townships throughout the county, including patrol of the St. Croix River, numerous county parks, lakes, and trails. They also operate a jail and provide emergency communications for all police and fire and medical units throughout the county. Accompanying the sheriff today is the Mounted Patrol Unit. This unit of expert horse men and women and their highly trained horses assist the sheriff's office with crowd control and search and rescue operations. The sheriff's office wants to thank the community for their support and wish everyone a safe and happy Summerfest. Grand Marshal exemplifies pride spirit within our community. This year's Grand Marshal, Bill Burns, has enthusiastically served our community in many roles over the years. In fact, Bill was recognized as Oakdale's Volunteer of the Year back in 2022. Bill does so much for the community, so yeah. it's great to see him as Grand Marshal this year. Next up, we have the Maplewood Oakdale Lions Club. They've been serving our community since 1963. Another great organization that does a lot for our community. Oh yeah, cities are lucky to have them people there. Coming up next is the Oakdale Recreation in the streets. The It's Truck is here to fill the, your child's summer with fun. See the It's Truck schedule and all the great summer camps, activities, and special events Oakdale Recreation has to offer your family by visiting oakdalefun.com. And here comes Oak Meadows Senior Living, where dynamic living meets compassionate care. Oak Meadows offers a haven for seniors seeking a fulfilling and supportive lifestyle. They provide independent living, assisted living, and memory care. And up is our next group is Transfiguration Church and School of Oakdale. They have fun activities for all ages to enjoy. Check out their website for more information and upcoming events at transfiguration.org. Their Sunday funny Fun Day Festival will be August 4th this year. Join the family fun outdoors. Next, we have Canvas Health, and they are proud to have its headquarters right here in Oakdale, employing more than 330 people. 
Canvas Health provides integrated mental health and substance use disorder care to people of all ages in their homes, the community, and in its seven metro clinics. All are welcome at Canvas Health to experience hope, healing, and recovery. For more information, visit canvashealth.org. And right behind them is the All Family Dental Unit, has been a part of the Making Smiles in Oakdale for over 30 years. They have grown with the community and have enjoyed being a part of many of these community events. Dr. Kevin Anderson, Dr. Richard Tim, and their wonderful team offer personalized dental services including family dentistry, orthodontics, dental implants, cosmetic dentistry, and more. Next up, we have Legacy Dance Studio. They've been serving the Oakdale and surrounding communities since 1988. They offer dance classes for ages two to adult and all experience levels. Your dancer will gain confidence, make new friends, and be proud of their achievements at Legacy Dance Studio. Coming up behind them is the uh, Minnesota Renaissance Festival. It opens August 17th through September 29th. And next we have the Oakdale Athletic Association, an independent nonprofit youth organization administered and managed by volunteers since 1971. All residents of Oakdale and the surrounding cities are eligible to be OAA members. The board is responsible for the smooth running of youth sports, baseball, basketball, football, soccer, volleyball, wrestling, softball, and a new league, Adaptive Sports. Contact any board member for more information. The District 622 United Marching Band includes 7th to 11th grade students from the middle and high schools in very own our very own district. United into one marching band under the direction of Lori Bernstrom, Erin Hammerman, John Pavoli, Emily Bono, and Meg Alston. La Petite Academy offers educational child care from ages six weeks to five years and is now enrolling for multiple programs. Schedule a, schedule a tour online at lapetite.com or call 651-493-9247. And coming up right behind them is the Waters of Oakdale, offers assisted living and memory care services. Stop by for a tour. We have quite the crowd out here watching this parade. We do. A little rain did not keep them away. Nope, it did <laughs> not. I think parades are special for a community. Agree. The St. Paul Clown Club was formed in 1946 and is the oldest operating clown club in the United States. This year, they are celebrating 77 fun and exciting years of bringing smiles and laughter to people in parades and community events throughout Minnesota. Thanks for coming, folks! Tartan Soccer is hosting the Tartan Titans Youth Soccer Camp August 12th to 15th. Grades kindergarten through 8th are welcome, and sign-ups are open now on the District 622 Community Education website. Check that out. Tartan Boys Traveling Basketball offers competitive basketball for kids in our community. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram for more information. Tartan Football 2024 signups begin by July 8th for grades 7 through 12. Youth Monday Night Football Camps are available in August. For more information, visit tartan.com. Tartan Dance Team welcomes all dance experiences in grades 7 through 12 at either Skyview or Tartan. Join their growing team this fall or winter 
follow them on Instagram at tartan underscore dance. Well, it looks gloomy off, but there's no raindrops coming down. Thank goodness for that. Tartan Volleyball is dedicated to creating a positive, safe, and competitive environment that all athletes can thrive in. Their mission is to assist players in developing their volleyball, teamwork, and life skills. The Animal Emergency and Referral Center of Minnesota was established over 40 years ago by a group of local veterinarians who wanted to provide their clients with quality emergency veterinary care. Today, they employ a wide variety of emergency veterinarians, board certified specialists, and health care team members all on hand for when your pet just isn't feeling like themselves. Following behind is Cub Scout Pack 580 and Troop 580 from Oakdale want to welcome kids into the community to check out scouting. To learn more about scouting and to find a pack or troop to fit your family, please check out gocouting.org. They look forward to meeting you. Another great thing for kids. Absolutely. The Twin City Model Railroad Museum is joining us with Bell the Parade Train. The museum in St. Paul offers 12,000 square feet of interactive toy train layouts, an amazing Lego display, hands-on exhibits, hobby store, train doctor, and more. They host birthday parties and other special events. To learn more, follow them on Facebook or visit tcmrm.org. And coming up is the entrance Texas Roadhouse in Woodbury. They're introducing Andy, the armadillo, who is being accompanied by his best friends from the Texas Roadhouse in Woodbury. Great place to go have steak. Yes, it is. Located at Century Avenue and 40th Street, House of Prayer worships Sundays at 9.30. All are welcome. Visit them at their annual community festival on August 18th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Right behind them is Gorilla Dumpster Bag. It's a small locally owned business. The Gorilla Bag comes with a patented bag stand, making it easy and safe to load. Gorilla Bags are perfect for do-it-yourself projects, move-ins, move-outs, and junk removal. Services include delivery, pickup, and disposal. To learn more, call 1-844-BIG-BAGS. Your Senate District 44 Republican neighbors here in Oakdale are joined with North St. Paul, Maplewood, Landfall, Pine Springs, and Little Canada, pursuing smaller government and less interference in your homes and businesses. Announcing the East Metro Youth Hockey Association. Their goal is to develop skilled hockey players to stress good sportsmanship and fair play and to teach participants to accept both victory and defeat graciously. These stars come from all over the e region. East St. Paul, Oakdale, Maplewood, North St. Paul parts and parts of Woodbury and Lake Elmo. Whether you've never been on skates or have some experience on the ice, the association invites families with children ages five to high school to register for the upcoming fall season. Get to know why Minnesota known as the great state of hockey. Apollo Heating, Air and Plumbing proudly services over 150 communities in the Twin Cities Metro and Western Wisconsin. They've been a family-owned business since 1980 and treat their customers like family. Apollo is an award-winning company that proudly holds Minnesota's best awards and has many years under its belt. Check out the reviews boasting of their quality services at callapollo.com. Look at that cute little vehicle. 
That's great. <laughs> a mini truck. Yes. Literally mini. <laughs> Approaching is the White Bear Lake Drumline is a high energy group of high school musicians who provide themselves in their strong focus and precision playing abilities. See them play at various parades and high school sporting events throughout the year. Go Bears! Let's listen to the music. The Omni Otters Swim Club is a 28-year-old local nonprofit organization founded in 1996. The club offers a competitive year-round swim team consisting of youth ages 6 to 18. Club members join from Oakdale, Maplewood, and North St. Paul and neighboring communities. They are always welcoming new members. Visit them at omniotters.com for more information. Next up is Twin Cities Elite. It is a small nonprofit volleyball club serving the Oakdale, Maplewood, Woodbury, and North St. Paul area. Their season runs from December to April with tryouts in October and November. The program includes targeted skills training, health and wellness education, specific to the athletes' age groups with a focus on nutrition and mental health and strength and conditioning training. They're hosting a three-day clinic for all ages and genders in conjunction with Jesse Jones Vacation Bible Academy, July 30th to August 1st. Their fall league starts in September and is open to athletes of all ages and genders not participating in a high school program. Opportunity Community Services is a housing, employment, and independent living assistance for people with disabilities or other challenges in their lives. They have a huge impact serving Minnesota statewide. For more information, visit opportunitycsi.org. The Rotary Club of North St. Paul, Maplewood, Oakdale exists to serve others in the community through service projects, grants, and scholarships to better our community. They are looking for members to join. And approaching is the 3M Clown Club has been making the young and old smile for over 50 years. The club partakes in parades, fundraisers, and nursing home programs. Never too young or old for a smile. TJ Hawthorne is running for state representative in District 44B. This district is made up of Oakdale and North St. Paul and has been represented by the same person for the last 20 years. Visit TJ's website at tjforliberty.com. And behind them, a snake discovery is an educational reptile zoo that offers snake and lizard themed birthday parties. They have a real snake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Yikes. The vibrant black Ford truck and trailer is Tashini Exteriors. They offer many exterior remodeling options, which include, but are not limited to, James Hardy siding and Owens Corning shingles. You can visit this family owned and operated business at mytashini.com. Next up is First Student. 
is now hiring bus drivers and monitors to serve our community. Text the word BUS to 52345. starting to come down a little heavier. Yes, it is. Senate District 44 DFL connects local Democrats in Oakdale, North St. Paul, Maplewood, Landfall, and Pine Springs. SD 44 DFL works to build community among Democrats, increase voter turnout, and elect DFL-endorsed candidates. Oakdale's locally elected Democrats are Senator Tu Zhang, Representative Leon Lilly, and Congresswoman Betty McCollum. To learn more and get involved, visit sd44dfl.org. How are you? Good. Girl Scout of Beaver Lake Service Unit for girls by girls and led by girls. Join today at Girl Scouts srv.org. They are always looking for future leaders. Next we have FedEx. Come for a job and stay for a career. FedEx Ground is part of the rapidly growing warehouse and transportation sector that helps keep America and our economy moving. Be part of a winning team and workplace community that cares about who you are as an individual and your safety in the workplace. Marcus Theaters has great movies for the whole family this summer, including Inside Out 2, Despicable Me 4, Harold and the Purple Crayon, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and more. See your favorite movies for only $3 during the Summer Kids Dream Family Film Series through the end of summer. Get a special size soda or popcorn for $3. The Twin Cities Unicycle Club is the largest unicycle club in the country and oldest in Minnesota. Its members hold over 30 national titles and 15 world titles in artistic, racing, group riding, and mountain unicycling events. Unicycling improves physical fitness, balance, and coordination for all ages and abilities, offering a lifetime of friendship and fun. New riders, young and old, are welcome to the instruction and encouragement. Join the fun by visiting tcuc.org. I often wonder how they balance that so well. <laughs> Representing the North Hudson Pepper Fest is King Jeff Rosini, Queen Macy Zimmer, Princesses Carly Brown, Lillian Benzer, and Ceci Schlee. The Pepper Fest is a little village festival with big Italian flavor. The festival began in 1954 to raise money to build an elementary school, and today most of its earnings are given to nonprofit groups and beneficiaries awarded through a grant request. Weekend events held August 16th to 18th. And right behind them is Cub Scout Pack 817, located at Guardian Angels Church here in Oakdale. It provides opportunities for kids to explore the outdoors and make lifelong friends. Find us on GoScouting.org. The Metropolitan Mosquito Control District is a government agency of the seven county metro area. Established in 1958, their mission is to protect the public from disease and annoyance caused by mosquitoes, black flies, and ticks in an environmentally sensitive manner. And up and coming is the Hudson Ambassadors. They represent the Hudson community through a volunteer-run scholarship program. The 2024 court includes Ambassadors Haley Enrider, Natalie Labonia, Maria Malayan, and Ariana Shabano. These dedicated young ladies commit to a year of community service as goodwill ambassadors in and around Hudson, Wisconsin. Check out the annual 4th of July celebration organized by the Hudson Boosters.
The Aquatennial Ambassador Organization exists to inspire young Minnesota women to achieve extraordinary futures by providing professional development opportunities through networking and mentoring. The ambassadors travel throughout the state and country. The organization also provides educational scholarships to ambassadors to help them reach their goals. The 2024 crew is thrilled to be celebrating in our community today. Join them the fourth week in July for the 85th Aquatennial. For over 29 years, Dedicated Logistics Transportation Company in Oakdale has been part at the forefront of providing exceptional transportation solutions with their fleet of state-of-the-art vehicles driven by some of their most skilled professionals in the industry. Their commitment to rail reliability, safety, and customer satisf satisfaction has made them a trusted partner for business across the region and keeps our community moving day in and day out. Baldwin Woodville Chamber of Commerce, represented by Miss Baldwin and Miss Congeniality Molly, First Princess Brooklyn, Second Princess Isabella, and Third Princess Faye are happy to be celebrating with us today. They invite you to join them in Baldwin, Wisconsin on Saturday, September 28th for their 19th annual Chili Fest. Thanks to Flagship Ford for providing their vehicle driven by Gary Hammond. Hello, there we go. Let's go, Oakdale. Say hello to the 2024 St. Paul Vulcan crew. The Vulcans have been volunteering and participating in St. Paul and local community events for over 80 years. Once again, the Vulcans have defeated Boreas and his four wind brothers to rid the state of cold weather and bring back summer. Say hello to Volcanus Rex the 86th, Ash, Flame, Clinker, EB, and Sparky. Hail the Vulk. And approaching is the, according to the legend, the St. Paul Winter Carnival Junior Royalty brings youth and exuberance to the realm of Boreas. The Junior Royalty Program is open to young men and women ages 12 to 15 from across the cities who serve as goodwill ambassadors. The Junior Court makes about 75 appearances throughout the year while learning public speaking skills, interpersonal skills, and serving the community in various service projects. Please welcome the 2024 Junior Royalty King Frost Breck, Queen of the Snows Kelsey, Princess of Ice, Lily, and Princess of Snow Maya. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation is the proud nonprofit producer of the Winter Carnival, the coolest celebration on earth, running from the end of January to the beginning of February. The 2024 Royal Family is led by Boreas Rex the 87th, Steve Duty, Queen of Snows and Prime Minister Danny Ross, the King of Guards, Four Winds, and Wind Princesses. The leader of the Vulcans is Volcanus Rex the 86th, Jim Lipke. He and his crew represent the coming of warm weather as they overthrow Boreas and his family on the last night of the festival. But not least is the Royal Order of Klond Klondike Cake, mistresses of song and merriment from the St. Paul Winter Carnival, the coolest celebration on earth. We are pleased to introduce you to from the Royal Houses of St. Croix Hospice and Garden Pest Solutions, Klondike Cake 2024, Jody Vanderhart. Learn more about how to become the next reigning Klondike Cake or join the Cake Fan Club by visiting klondikecakes.org. This concludes the parade. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight for the Ted Berth Grand Parade. It is time now to head over to Richard Walton Park to enjoy the rest of the Oakdale Summerfest celebration.